respected principal sir uh, head of the department all the faculty members uh, expert and one and all present i mean all my dear students it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all on behalf of electrical department uh, on the series of this webinar uh, the very first of the series is on uh, energy conservation and the expert today we have with us is uh, chirag chauhan Uh, he is an expert from uh, PCRA, that is uh, Petroleum Conservation Research Association. So, a very warm welcome to one and all present here. Uh, I request Principal Sir to share his views on this series of webinars. Sir, good afternoon to all and uh, welcome, Mr. Chirag. Thank so you, nice sir. To have you here and uh, thank thanks you, for uh, sharing your time here. As uh, Professor Solangi said, that uh, this is our second series of uh, webinars. One we started last year, and this is the second one that we are sharing. And uh, I would uh, wish that uh, the knowledge sharing and experience sharing will be very much useful to the students, especially on this topic which is uh, selected for uh, today's uh, event. In any case, uh, conservation of uh, any kind of energy is always useful. People say that. Energy conserved or saved is uh, energy produced, and which is always uh, a matter of cost. Cost cutting also is quite important always in business. So I wish a very uh, useful and fruitful interaction during the session. Uh, wishing you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, uh, for your uh, wishes and uh, your thoughts. Uh, I would request uh, Professor Ketan Badgujar, sir, head of our department, to share his views on this webinar. Badgujar, sir. Yeah. So thank you, Professor Solanki. Uh, welcome, Chirag Bhai. So you, this sir. is, as uh, Principal sir said, this is a second uh, series of digital SACC uh, webinar series, and uh, you are the first uh, for the electrical department having this lecture. And consequently, we have some few lectures planned over here. So again, today's topic is very relevant to the electrical engineering student as they are having this subject also. And energy conservation is part of all the electrical uh, machines also. So I, I wish all the students to make uh, maximum use of the expert and uh, do pose the questions, whatever you have in mind. And uh, we will keep this uh, series going on. Uh, every week we have planned one lecture. So wish you all the best student. Please uh, make use of the expert and uh, have a great learning. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for your Thank warm you. wishes. Uh, with a brief introduction of uh, Mr. Chirag, uh, I would uh, like to start with the session. So before starting the session, let me have the brief introduction of Chirag. Uh, Chirag basically has uh, done his uh, graduation from SVIT Vasa. His post graduation from Nirma Institute of Technology. Uh, he got his uh, very first job in the government as a uh, faculty in the electrical engineering uh, uh, with uh, Ali College Morbi. Then he got posted to Bhuj as an assistant professor. Uh, further, he uh, started his uh, own endeavor in the uh, private sector. Uh, in the field of research and development uh, with few of the noted uh, institutions like uh, Electrotherm India Limited, Suvik India Limited. Uh, then uh, he started off his own uh, business. Uh, he is uh, also an energy auditor and uh, an expert with PCRA, as I said. So without face, uh, wasting any further time, I request uh, Professor Chirak to continue with his session. I mean, uh, he has been a professor for a while. So that's what the memories I am sharing with him. And that is the reason why quite on and off, it slips off from my tongue like Professor Chirak. Welcome Chirak. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Mehul. Uh, I am really thankful to Principal Sir and uh, uh, Badgujar Sir, uh, HOD Electrical Engineering Department. So uh, we'll start without wasting much time. We'll start with the presentation. Uh, so I'll just share the uh, screen. 
so basically uh, we will be discussing about the energy conservation a very wide spread topic and so many things to can, uh, can be included under this uh, topic uh, but we'll restrict our uh, conversation our discussion uh, to the field related to the electrical engineering and the general uh, aspects like why should we conserve the energy probably everybody is knowing that is why what is the need of the like time that why should we conserve the energy we are listening to this since uh, since so many years now since our school days probably for the students that we should conserve the energy we should conserve the energy but why and how so today we'll also throw some light on how uh, how can we start from our home and how can we extend that to the working place that wherever we'll be working uh, in the future and how it will it can impact our life and it can impact the growth of our country so today's uh, webinar is being sponsored by the pcra that is petroleum conservation research association i will just brief you about the pcra first and then we'll uh, discuss the other aspects so pcra basically that was formed uh, in year 1976 uh, initially it was named as pcag that is petroleum conservation uh, action group now uh, now what was the need मतलब ये कैसे लाइक पिक्चर में आए कैसे इनोवेट हुआ तो ड्यूरिंग द 1973 बिकॉज़ ऑफ द लाइक वर्ल्ड वॉर द नॉट वर्ल्ड वॉर बट काइंड ऑफ वॉर सिचुएशन ऑफ वॉर अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड बिकॉज़ देयर वाज अ मेजर ऑयल क्राइसिस एंड वी नो दैट द ऑयल सप्लाइंग नेशंस दैट इज ओपेक नेशंस सऊदी अरब एंड ऑल दिस कंट्रीज इफ देयर इज सम समथिंग गोस रॉन्ग ओवर देयर देयर विल बी अ डायरेक्ट इंपैक्ट ऑन द ऑयल प्राइसेस एंड वी नो दैट how does it impact on our economy that is oil prices governs our economy right the entire economy will be moving around the oil prices agar oil prices mein thoda bahut bhi upar niche hota hai to hamara pura economy jo hai totally disturb ho jata hai so at the time our uh, government came up with the idea to form a study team with the top officials from the companies like iocl ntc and all ntpc and all so they come up with the conclusion that we can save 20 to 30% of energy that is resources just by the conservation without any extra efforts we can save this much of energy okay so formally they have formed this group and they named it as pcag initially and later on in 1978 that was renamed as pcra now what they are doing basically started with the awareness so now they are into so many segments uh whichever is the energy sensitive segment starting from the industry to the agriculture to the transportation to the domestic purpose or commercial purpose all these sectors are consuming so much of energy we know that transportation consumes so much of oil but there is petrol and diesel industries are also consuming petrol uh, that is coal uh, gas and electricity agriculture as well that is that is a major consumer of the diesel and domestic mein hum use karte hain that is lpg and also uh, that all this gas is right compressed natural gas that is uh, now the thing is that uh, youth program that is youth program is to make the future ready that is our jo hamara jo abhi youth hai jo aage ja ke kaam karne wala industry mein ya to fir kahin pe bhi we need to aware them about the need of the time that is energy conservation to in sare sectors mein pcr jo active hai सबको ट्रेनिंग इंपार्ट करते हैं और दे आर एक्टिवली फॉलोइंग अप द प्रोग्रेस एज वेल पीसीआर इज हैविंग देयर ऑफिसर्स रेसिडेंट ऑफिसर्स अक्रॉस द नेशन इन गुजरात वी आर हैविंग अर्लियर वी हैड टू ऑफिसर्स दैट इज एट अहमदाबाद एंड राजकोट बट एज ऑफ नाउ वी आर हैविंग पीसीआर ऑफिशियल एट राजकोट मिस्टर प्रतीक साहनी जी प्रोबेबली ही माइट जॉइन द वेबिनार एज वेल इफ इट इज कन्वीनिएंट टू कन्वीनिएंट फॉर हिम so they are looking after all the activities and mainly about the awareness program okay so let us come to the main topic now the first question is why why to conserve the energy so the why does not have any one single answer there are many answers to this why like for example we know that the global warming scenario as on date agar aapne abhi abhi news uh, recent news ko agar aap track karte hain then you might have seen the visuals of a uh, flood situation in the germany and it has been worst in probably 100 or so years they are saying that this is the worst situation of flood in the germany since last one or two decades so no, no sorry not decades century so this why this is happening the same thing we can observe over here in india the the cycle season cycle has been drastically disturbed right now what is the reason for that so this graph show you the reason for that it shows 
the global carbon dioxide emission every year year on year so agar isko hum analyze kare we can see that over here during the year uh, let me just try to get the pointer option or during the year 2007 8 the global co2 emissions were somewhere around 28 gigaton per year and that is on the continuous rise and as on date if you look at the number that is somewhere around 34 to 35 gigaton per year and we can see the effects of that that is a global warming we know that co2 is a greenhouse gas greenhouse gas means it will absorb the longer wave radiation and that will gradually increase the temperature of globe and that will cause the disturbance in the temperature cycle of the globe and because of that glaciers are melting the flood like situations is happening the seasons are like not uh, normal that is abnormally uh, happening nowadays so all these things are because of the co2 emissions and pe people are worried about this across the globe all the nations are worried about this now what will happen if we we'll keep on consuming the uh, resources at the same rate and will keep on emitting the co2 at the same rate so by we are predicting that by 2030 by Uh, 2030 we may reach up to 40 gigaton per year co2 emissions and that is a very very worst situation that might be the worst worst situation and that may cause the earth might not be livable livable for us that we have to confine ourselves within the conditioned environment hum bahar nahi ja sakte khule khule mein nahi ja sakte hamare jo matlab like jo breathing issues honge wo badh jayenge all these things will happen so ye ek sabse bada reason hai why should we conserve the energy because we know that whenever we are consuming the energy as on date our majority uh, like majority consumption is coming from the hydrocarbon fuels that is coal gas and oil mainly and we know that to extract the energy from the hydrocarbon fuel we have to burn them that is combustion process is must so when we initiate this combustion process we can extract the energy but at the same time we emit the co2 in the atmosphere yeah. so this is the not viable or not feasible option if you want to curb the co2 emissions agar hame co2 emissions ko ghatana hai to ye combustion ko band karna padega now there are options how can we reduce the co2 emissions so the first option or the first remedy is the blue portion which suggests that just by energy saving or energy conservation we can bring down this co2 emissions from 40 gigaton per year to approximately 32 gigaton per year and further by using the renewable energy sources biofuel nuclear energy resources we can further bring it down to 28 gigaton per year and if you can capture the free carbon dioxide from the air by means of like carbon sink that is more and more jungles trees green cover that is called carbon capture so if we can bring down this co2 emissions to uh, further down that is to 626 gigaton per year and that is the only solution so over here we can observe that the energy efficiency that is by improving the energy conservation by improving the energy efficiency we can bring down majority portion of the co2 emissions uh later on we'll see another reason why should we conserve the energy in the upcoming slide okay the another reason is that as i said uh, the way we are consuming the uh, conventional resources that is coal oil and gas uh, we have some numbers that Uh, the coal the global coal reserves are somewhere around we can say that 8 like 16214 million tons by end by the end of 2016 but at what rate we are consuming ye hamare paas reserve to hai but usko hum kitna jaldi consume kar rahe hain right is like that a tank of water is that but you are not consuming it it will remain there but if you if you are consuming at a very uh, rapid speed at very high rate then it may exhaust within small time so we are predicting that if we we'll keep on consuming the coal at the same rate then approximately 80 to 90 years more and the coal reserves will be exhausted right uh, we are consuming a very large amount of coal as on date india is having approximately 8.3% of coal reserves uh, that is global coal reserves but still we are on the very uh, bad, like very bad situation in case of resources if we talk about the oil and gas again almost we can have uh, oil for another 50 years gas for another 52 years so these are the well uh, like well established resources and we need to conserve them it takes years and years or millions of years to build this resources right 
तो यहां पे हमें क्या करना पड़ेगा हमें इसको कंजर्व करना पड़ेगा बिकॉज सी इवन इफ विल स्विच ओवर टू द रिन्यूएबल रिसोर्सेज देर विल बी सम डिपेंडेंसी ऑन द कन्वेंशनल रिसोर्सेज वी कैन नॉट बी कंप्लीटली इंडिपेंडेंट इट मे टाइम मे कम बट स्टिल वी नीड टू रिजर्व दिस रिसोर्सेज दैट इज वेरियबल रिसोर्स ओके now if we uh, being an indian if we talk about our country india then uh, we know that in at our home at our offices in industry still um, uh, some of the industries are consuming coal oil and gas but still electricity is a widespread uh, form of at uh, the popular form of energy very popular that is easy to use easy to transport easy to convert right so it is very popular form of energy so if we talk if we talk about the figures uh, that is a national installed capacity इंडिया में एज ऑन डेट एज ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वॉट इज दिटी और हाउ मच इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इंडिया कैन जनरेट राइट सो दिस डेटा इज बिंग अपडेटेड एवरी मंथ ऑन सेंट्रल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी अथॉरिटी वेबसाइट सो वी आर हैविंग डेटा ऑफ थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वी आर हैविंग थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स विद द कैपेसिटी ऑफ टू थर्टी फाइव गीगा गीगा वॉट It is two lakh thirty four thousand seven twenty eight megawatt, but we can round it off to two thirty five gigawatt. Uh, nuclear power plants were six seven eight zero megawatt. Hydro power plants were sixty forty six gigawatt. And still, other renewable energy sources, including hydro, wind, solar, bio, bio power, and wind energy, including all, it is only contributing for approximately ninety five gigawatt only. So, in total, our installed capacity of India is three eighty two gigawatt. and it is day by day it is increasing hum jo naye naye power plants aate rehte hain naye naye installations aate rehte hain so that is being that is on the rise but still the major contribution is from thermal power plants that is a matter of worry because thermal power plants works on coal right so in upcoming slides we'll see what is the disadvantage of thermal power plant if we talk about the gujarat then we are having thermal power plants worth somewhere around 23 gigawatt nuclear power plant at kankara power of 560 megawatt a uh, hydro power plant including the kevadia that is somewhere around 770 to 772 megawatt and other renewable energy sources were 13 megawatt the good news is that we are having so many policies regarding the renewable energy sources and we are very soon will be having many uh, solar and wind and somewhat hydro sorry hybrid uh, renewable uh, hybrid uh, that is a uh, hybrid solar farm uh that is upcoming in the state and uh, because of that this number is going to rise very rapidly so two years back this number was somewhere around 8 to 9 gigawatt only which is uh, as on date is 13 gigawatt and probably in very near future it can cross 16 to 17 gigawatt uh comfortably but still we are far behind the target so gujarat's total installed capacity is 37893 gigawatt or we can round it off to 38 gig, uh, sorry 38 gigawatt okay uh now so these are the two main reason that one is the global co2 emissions the second one is that we need to conserve the energy to save the resources now further agar hum baat kare india ki to ab hum india ki growth ke perspective se baat karenge that why we being an indian citizen what is our responsibility right so uh there is a term called per capita consumption that means on an average the indian citizen how much energy they are consuming so how this defi- definition is defined that uh, how this term is being defined it says that uh, the per capita consumption during the year is computed as the total energy consumption during the year matlab ki agar hamara 385 gigawatt ka generating capacity hai to usme se pure saal mein humne kitne units generate kiye that is kwh divided by the mid year population of the country so that will give you that on an average every citizen kitni energy consume karta hai in kwh in kwh so if we we'll look at the figures in 19 uh, sorry in 2008 9 um the average per capita consumption was 734 units that means koi zyada karta hoga koi kam karta hoga there doesn't matter but it is on an average it is 734 units every citizen was consuming like this and 15 16 mein ye rise ho kar ke 1075 units ho gaya so it is a like a kind of like a, um, um, strange behavior and on the on one hand we are saying that conserve the energy on the other hand there is a 46% rise in 8 years so why this is contradictory and how can we 
और शुड वी रिड्यूज दिस और शुड वी नॉट तो इसका रीजन क्या है सो द मेन रीजन इज दैट वॉट एवर मे ग्रो कोई भी चीज कोई भी चीज जब ग्रो करती है वेदर इट इज अूमन बॉडी और अ प्लांट और अ कंट्री और अ इकोनॉमी ऑफ द कंट्री इट रिक्वायर्स एनर्जी सो सेम वे इफ अ कंट्री इज ग्रोइंग इट रिक्वायर्स टू कंज्यूम द एनर्जी राइट सिंपल एग्जाम्पल अगर हम आज की बात करें तो लिविंग स्टैंडर्ड हमारा जो लिविंग स्टैंडर्ड है उसका इंडेक्स तो दस साल पहले अगर हम बात करें तो इट वॉज रेयर टू फाइंड द ए सी एट द रेसिडेंट राइट पंद्रह साल पहले की बात करें दस साल पहले की बात करें but now it is a must thing it is a necessity now that every household is having either air cooler or the air conditioner same way initially the person who can who, who could who could only afford a cycle can now afford a two wheeler those who were affording a two wheeler they can now afford a four wheeler jo jinke paas four wheeler the basic model wo abhi luxury car mein ya to fir hatchback mein shift ho gaye that means the life standard is living standard is continuously improving and that is the reason our consumption is also increasing so we cannot stop this so it is linked with the our gdp our growth country's growth the per capita consumption uh, has been increasing at an average rate of 6% per every year that means jo hamara gdp ka growth hai uske sath ye linked hai jitna gdp grow karega utna hamara uh, uh, per capita consumption bhi grow karega we cannot reduce this for the but yes what we can do we can we can use the efficient appliances we can use the efficient vehicles we can use the efficient methods to reduce this to a certain limit right so we can work on that acha agar hum iski baat kare ki bhai hum kitna consume karte hain being an indian citizen aur baki jo developed countries hain like canada us australia japan and etc so if we compare that the figure of per capita consumption in year 2013 14 then Uh, we can see that when a canadian citizen was consuming 15520 units the indian citizen was consuming only 957 units that means we are far behind the canada canadian citizen in terms of living standard same way us australia and japan you can compare with any of the country so that is why they are known as developed countries and we are under development we are still far behind the world average consumption per capita consumption wise jo world ka average hai that was in 1617 it sorry 1314 it was 3000 units while india's uh, contribution was 957 so that does not mean that we can randomly start utilizing the energy and we can uh, we can put it our put ourselves into the developed countries category no that, that is not going to happen hum aisa nahi karna ki we start using the energy maximum energy no we don't want that we will be using the energy efficient now uh, whenever you will be Uh, you will be completing your graduation you will be working with some industry at that time this term will come the energy intensity isko main abhi thoda sa aapko brief mein bata deta hu what is energy intensity so energy intensity is defined as amount of energy consumed for generating one gdp now what does it mean one gdp we are not going to uh, that but i'll just give you simple example uh, every industry has some output right so the har ek industry ka output alag alag terms mein unit mein hota hai let's say for example रिफाइनरी है तो उसका बैरल्स में होता है बैरल्स पर मंथ और लीटर्स पर मंथ वॉट एवर इट मे बी कोटन इंडस्ट्री है तो उसका टर्न में होता है कोल है कोल प्रोसेसिंग है तो उसका भी टर्न में होता है जैसे पावर प्लांट है तो उसका यूनिट जनरेटेड होता है तो सबका यूनिट अलग अलग होता है तो उसको हमने कॉमन यूनिट डिफाइन कर दिया ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट आप ऐसा समझ लीजिए ना वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एनर्जी इंटेंसिटी लेट से वी आर हैविंग टू कॉटन इंडस्ट्रीज साइड बाई साइड ए एंड बी both the cotton industries are having giving the same output month on month dono ka output ekdam same hai but industry a is consuming more units compared to the industry b so for the same output if the industry a is consuming more units that means its energy intensity is higher and energy intensity is high that means there is a scope of savings wahan pe agar b kar sakta hai to a kyu nahi kar sakta hai मतलब कि वहां पे अभी भी कुछ एक मिस्टेक्स हो रहे हैं जहां पे लॉसेस अकर हो रहे हैं तो वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दोस लॉसेस एंड वी हैव टू रिड्यूस दैट सो एनर्जी इंटेंसिटी फॉर द सेम आउटपुट इफ यू आर कंज्यूमिंग हाई इनपुट दैट मींस योर एनर्जी इंटेंसिटी इज वेरी वेरी हाई सो इफ वी कंपेयर द इंडिया से एनर्जी इंटेंसिटी इंडिया में जितनी भी इंडस्ट्रीज हैं वो कैसे काम कर रहे हैं एंड वी कंपेयर दैट विद द डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज एनर्जी इंटेंसिटी सो ओवर एनर्जी इंटेंसिटी इज 3.7 टाइम्स दैट ऑफ जापान That means अगर एक इंडस्ट्री इंडिया में है एक इंडस्ट्री जापान में है और दोनों का आउटपुट सेम है 
then Indian industry is consuming 3.7 times higher electricity compared to the Japanese industry. There may be so many reasons apart from the technology, infrastructure, uh, like uh, manpower, skills, everything is there. These are factors matter. So, yes, we have scope. Magar, malab, agar am bole ki Japanese industry 100 units consume kar hai, to Indian industry 370 units consume kar hai. There is a huge gap. So this suggests that ki hamare paas bhoat saari opportunities hain. There are so many things to work out to reduce this energy intensity to, to save the fuel, to save the energy. Now, few more reasons. Being an Indian citizen or for our country, why should we conserve the energy? So we know that as we discuss that if you want to grow, you need to consume the energy. We are having the 18% of population of world. That means we need to feed them with the energy. At the same time, our resources are feed karne ke, that is less than 1%. So that is a matter of work. This is the same thing. There are many people in the house, but there are many It's like that. So what do we need to do for this? So we have to be dependent on other countries to, for help. Yes, eh? So we are importing 80% of our oil required and 20% of our coal required. The second last, last point. This is a major concern of worry. What does it mean? We, are, we need to consume the energy and our energy needs depends on the oil. That is imported oil. What will happen if the other countries, the OPEC countries will deny that will not supply oil to India? You can't imagine. The entire economy will stop, right? The industries will collapse. The, uh, the unemployment rate will go high. Inflation will go tremendously high that we can observe uh, as on date also. Uh, it is linked with the petrol prices, petrol and diesel prices. So this is the matter of worry and that is known as energy security or threat to our energy security. Uh, isko main simple words mein Let's say for example, we are getting oil from a country and uh, uh, we are dependent on that. And tomorrow they will put some conditions that if you will do this, 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 if you will don't and if you will, uh, uh, if, if you will sign the nuclear agreement, then and then you will be able to supply you oil. Otherwise we will not. Right. Same way they will put the condition don't enter into the war with this country. Otherwise we will not give you the oil. So that means they are dictating our terms. Though we are independent because we need oil from them. We have to follow the instructions partially or fully. So we are dependent for the energy needs and that is very, very, very dangerous situation for our energy, our security. Right. So uh, to be independent of this. To be independent of this, we have to be self-dependent. We have to energy needs ourselves to fulfill our energy needs. Otherwise, it will be the worst situation. Apart from that, India is the third largest polluter in the world. That is after US and the China. India is the third largest polluter in the world because we are growing. We are developing. So, industrial, industrial, industrialization is happening. We are getting a lot of operations. But we are getting a lot of atmosphere. So the entire world is looking at us that what will you do because because uh, it is not like that the environment belongs to India only right. So it belongs to everybody. The resources belongs to everybody. So people are looking at us and they are putting the allegations. They are putting the curb that you have to anyhow reduce this pollution and what we are doing for that. OK, that will be coming in the upcoming slide. Uh, now the thing is that. Uh, say we are growing. We need to grow. India is growing. And for that we need energy. Ab jo energy aati ho, kahan kahan se aate, that one is imported source that is oil and gas. Oil, coal, gas and other is electricity. Again, which we are generating from the coal based thermal power, power plants. That is 235 gigawatt worth thermal power plants. And every unit generated through the coal based thermal power plant will emit 1 kg of CO2. That is a very crucial data that and we know that our transmission and distribution capacity efficiency of the transmission distribution network is thumb rule as a thumb rule. We are considering that as a 50% only. That means if two units are generated at the thermal power plant by the time it will reach to a, your home or your place, it will remain one unit only 50% will be lost. So in that means if you are saving one unit at your home, it is as good as you are saving two units to be generated and it is as good as you are saving two kg of CO2 to be 
to be emitted into the atmosphere but every units we are saving we are saving 2 kg of co2 being emitted into the atmosphere apart from that thermal power plants are consuming 4 to 8 liters of potable water that is salt water for generating every unit uh, thermal power plants ka capacity uska jo efficiency hota hai it is not so good jo conventional thermal power plants the unka to 33% ke kareeb tha we are having some super electrical thermal power plants power plants now but still it is not up to the mark it is somewhere around 40% or 45% at the max that is what i have heard but is it is not never operating at that operation uh, efficiency so the major concern is the losses are occurring that is very very high apart from that the thermal power plants has their own machineries that is idf defense boiler feed water pump and etc which consumes 10 to 12% of its own generation matlab wo generate karta hai aur khud hi kha jata hai so that will further deteriorate the efficiency so all these things listed over here will Uh, will remind us that not to go for the thermal power we need to grow we need to consume the energy but not from thermal power plant then what are the options then there are the options so india has some self declared targets in the world that is we know that every year united nations having a framework aur uske under mein sare countries jo hain wo brainstorming ke liye milte hain you might have heard about the paris agreement and uh, um so many agreements in uh, different different united nations meeting so we are having some self declared targets uh, nobody has imposed this we have targeted that indian government india is committed to generate uh, uh, india is targeting installation capacity of 175 gigawatt of renewable energy sources through solar wind and other energy sources out of that solar energy will contribute for 100 gigawatt by 2022 that is by next year so we are still far behind the target but it's a little bit difficult but certainly we will be able to achieve approximately 60 to 70 gigawatt wind energy ka target hamara hai 60 gigawatt by 2022 and other renewable energy sources may contribute for 15 gigawatt that is major thing why government is making the policies why government is motivating the people to install the solar power plants at rooftop or wherever you are having land available, available with you okay they are giving the incentives they are giving the uh, like uh, subsidies and all another major target is that by 2030 by uh, 2030 india will be targeting all electric vehicle in phase wise manner so first target hai by 2025 all the electric vehicles uh, or two wheelers will be electric vehicle and by 2030 all the electric new electric, all the new vehicles will be electric vehicle only right so gradually jo hamare conventional ic engine engine based vehicles hain usko phased out kar dena hai taki hamara jo oil dependency hai imported oil ka jo dependency wo khatam ho jaye and apart from that ye jo electricity hum generate karenge that will be generated through only renewable energy sources right this is our target and probably in line with that you might have heard uh, if you are living in some if you have uh, if you are aware about the ahmedabad in ahmedabad uh, the in, the the bus service system that is a brt system they have brts and amts both they have replaced the conventional uh, buses with the electric new electric buses with the help of center the central government same way the government offices are buying the new vehicles as electric vehicles only and uh, you will be soon you will be able to see various charging stations across the nation across the country at various points okay uh, another target is that reduce the emission intensity jo hum jis hisab se hum co2 ko emit kar rahe hain usko reduce karna hai anyhow by 2030 compared to the 2005 levels uh, 33 to 35% uh, reduction is targeted to achieve 40% of electrical installed capacity from the non fossil fuel by 2030 and to create the additional carbon sink that is additional trees cover green cover to absorb the free uh, carbon dioxide from the atmosphere so these are the crucial targets and being an electrical engineer certainly we are having a great role you are going to play a great role into the segment because see electric vehicle starting from the electric vehicle or the power system um, or you can consider that renewable resources everywhere your the application of electrical engineering will be always there right so we have to be aware about this so what we have seen up till now let's uh, let's uh, recall in a one or two sentences that why should we conserve the energy because we are highly dependent on imported oil we are third largest polluter in the world co2 emissions are 
at very high levels and the resources are very very limited so all these are the reasons why should we conserve the energy we are dependent on imported oil and that is a threat to our energy security apart from that aisa bhi to nahi ki abhi jo hum operate kar rahe hain wo best possible way hai nahi aisa nahi hai because our energy intensity is very very high so immense potential exist abhi bhi bahut scope hai ki hame efficiency mein improve kar sakte hain particularly in case of utilities in industries like pumps hvac and lighting areas so these are the scope available with us why should we conserve the energy so by saving the energy we will be help, helping our resources at the same time we will be saving on the money as well and certainly we will be using the resources carefully and uh, that will ensure that clean air and water will be available for everyone clean atmosphere is a prime requirement okay so ab tak humne dekha ki why should we conserve the energy now we'll see how can we save the energy ab the now you are motivated chalo theek hai chalo sir ne bata diya that we should do is we should do this 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 but now how i want to know how so let us starting let us start from our place wherever we are working or where we are living so we know that some of the facts and we are gradually we have adopted this facts also since so many years we are imparting continuously imparting that turn off the lights are not in use we have made uh, slogans we have uh, stick those slogans to different different places and this is the awareness this is the reason and this is the uh, this is the effect now that majority of the people that is now are aware that don't uh, use lights when not in use that is don't turn off the lights when not in use right or use the natural sunlight whenever it is available so that is the effect or impact of awareness apart from that a very small topic that is called detesting of lighting fixtures to maintain the illumination what does it mean that is a kind of you can say servicing point that is service uh, you can maintenance point ho gaya hamara ki aap koi bhi fixture ko use karte hain usko clean rakhiye what will happen exactly when a uh, light is being emitted from the source there is a glass cover or a plastic cover through which it will come out but if there is a dusting over that then the the illumination which we want or which is being generated it will not come entirely out so we have to make it clean ensure that ye hamara service ka point ho gaya ki everything which we are utilizing we have to maintain it properly so ghar mein to theek hai but industry mein bahut zyada dusting hoti hai wahan pe we have observed that uh, just by de-dusting the lighting fixture we can save 20 to 30% of electricity in the lighting segment why sometimes what will happen जो वर्कर्स होते हैं उनको लगता है लाइट कम हो रही है हमारे मतलब दिखने में प्रॉब्लम हो रही है देन विल दे विल जस्ट टर्न ऑन द सेकंड लाइट वो एडिशनल लाइट ऑन कर देंगे वो साफ नहीं करेंगे उसको तो वी कैन जस्ट बाय क्लीनिंग दिस वी कैन टर्न द टर्न ऑफ द ऑल द एडिशनल लाइट्स ओके और द लास्ट पॉइंट आई वुड लाइक टू एलोबरेट यूज द एलईडी लाइट्स बट आई वुड एलोबरेट दैट टू यूज द बेस्ट पॉसिबल टेक्नोलॉजी अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट हाउ बिकॉज वी नो दैट दिस इज अ कंटिन्यूअस डेवलपमेंट in the research segment and in the electrical appliances we know that this continuous development to work or to uh, achieve the better and better efficiency so uh, if we talk about the 10 to 15 years back there were yellow color incandescent uh, bulbs were available jinka kaam tha light dena but wo light kam dete the garam zyada hote right to unka jo efficiency tha wo bahut hi poor tha unka efficiency that was giving only 20 to 30 lumens per watt यस यहाँ पे एक मिसकंसेप्शन भी बहुत ज्यादा है उसके बारे में भी हम बात करेंगे जब भी आप लाइट परचेस करते हैं तब उसका एफिशिएंसी जो है वो हमें कैसे चेक करना है हम क्या बताते हैं हम बताते हैं कि भाई नाइन वोट का बल्ब चाहिए तो ट्वेंटी वोट का ट्यूबलाइट चाहिए बट दैट इज नॉट द करेक्ट करेक्ट स्पेसिफिकेशन द करेक्ट स्पेसिफिकेशन इज शुड बी लुमेंस पर वॉट एक वोट पावर कंज्यूम करने पर वो कितने लुमेंस आउटपुट देता है सो इनिशियली इट वॉज ओनली ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी लुमेंस पर वॉट देन सी एफ एल बल्ब वेर का तो CFL का एफिशिएंसी था 50 टू 60 लुमेंस पर वॉट 40 50 टू 60 लुमेंस पर वॉट सो एट दैट टाइम इट वाज द बेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी अवेलेबल प्रोबेबली 7 टू 8 इयर्स बैक एंड देन एलईडी बल्ब्स वर क्या दैट केम इनटू द मार्केट पहले भी एलईडी बल्ब्स थे बट वो बहुत ज्यादा कॉस्टली थे तो टेक्नोलॉजी जो मैच्योर नहीं हुई थी उसको हम बोलते हैं मैच्योरिटी ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी तो कमर्शियल कमर्शियली वो फिजिबल नहीं था देन 5 इयर्स बैक Uh, because of the mass production it is possible that the co leds are now commercially available and uh, 
the leds are giving the efficiency of 70 to 80 lumens per watt at initial stage and today again there is an advantage or improvement in the efficiency and as on date the uh, market mein led is available hai uska jo efficiency hai, that is 100 lumens per watt and probably it may further increase in upcoming years so be careful while while you are buying a new uh, fixture a new illumination or uh, koi naya bulb le rahe ho to light le rahe ho you have to be careful you have to see the lumens per watt output of the led दूसरी जो दूसरे हम अप्लायंस यूज करते हैं घर में उसमें एक होता है फैन हमारा तो अपार्ट फ्रॉम द लाइट जो हमारा फैन है दैट इज इंडक्शन मोटर बेस्ड फैन होता है और द वर्किंग आवर्स भी उसके ज्यादा होते हैं तो लाइट तो मॉर्निंग में और इवनिंग में कुछ एक घंटे चलते हैं बट मेजोरिटी इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द फैन इट विल वर्क अप्रोक्सिमेटली एट टू टेन आवर्स अ डे इवन ड्यूरिंग इवन ड्यूरिंग द विंटर्स ड्यूरिंग द आफ्टरनून टाइम फोर टू फाइव आवर्स इट विल बी कंटिन्यूसली ऑन इन वन ऑफ द रूम सो वॉट कैन बी वहां पर बहुत ज्यादा कंजम्पन भी होता है राइट अगेन यहां पे भी क्या क्या मेजर्स हैं सो वी नो दैट जो कन्वेंशनल रेगुलेटर्स होते हैं हमें वी नो द फंडामेंटल ऑफ स्पीड कंट्रोल ऑफ इंडक्शन मोटर दैट इज इफ यू चेंज द वोल्टेज द स्पीड विल चेंज सो बाय ड्रॉपिंग द वोल्टेज वी आर वी आर चेंजिंग द स्पीड ऑफ इंडक्शन मोटर बेस्ड फैन अर्लियर तो उसके लिए हम क्या करते थे रजिस्टर बेस्ड रेगुलेटर यूज करते थे जो बहुत ही ज्यादा गर्म होते थे दैट इज आई स्क्वायर लॉसेज बहुत ज्यादा होते थे so that is being phased out now with the electronic regulator that is either triac based or a capacitor based so even if it is installed somewhere nowadays simply replace that with a new electronic regulator right because it is very very lossy right install exhaust fan at a higher elevation compared to the ceiling fan industry mein kab hota hai kya hota hai ki wahan pe air jo hai usko circulate karke interchange karna zaruri hai now what will happen the 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 hot air will that is lighter in the compared to the cold air so that will move up right uska density kam hota hai to upar jata hai to jab upar jata hai to hame exhaust fan aise level pe install karne chahiye taki wo atmosphere ke sath easily exchange ho jaye so that is the purpose of this uh, again in this case also uh, use five star rated or bldc fan so same way in the led segment i would again say that use the best efficient available fan in the market right Uh, certainly you have to check the payback period and the cost benefit analysis but as on date uh, again fans ke bare mein bhi kafi sare logo ko nahi pata hota ki iska efficiency kaise check kare pehle to um, students ko uh, itna detail mein kabhi kisi ne socha hi nahi hota ki bhai uh, fan ka output kya hai to fan ka output rpm nahi hai fan ka output hota hai air delivery that is cubic meter per minute wo kitni air deliver karta hai that is the output of fan and for that air delivery how much power it will consume that is called service value to ek watt power consume karta hai to wo kitni air deliver karta hai cmm mein that is called service value of the fan and uh, bureau of energy efficiency is allotting the five star ratings or star ratings based upon the service value right to so, conventional jo fan hota hai hamara induction motor base that may consume 50 to 80 watts to deliver the 230 cmm of air delivery तो उनका सर्विस वैल्यू जो होता है थ्री टू फोर सी एम पर वॉट ही होता है वाइल द बी एल डी सी फैन कंज्यूम ओनली ट्वेंटी एट टू थर्टी वॉट टू डिलीवर द सेम आउटपुट तो उनका जो सर्विस वैल्यू होता है तो बेस्ड अपॉन दिस ब्यूरो ऑफ एनर्जी एफिशियंसी इज अलोटिंग द स्टार रेटिंग आई वुड लाइक टू हाईलाइट दिस एज वेल द ब्यूरो ऑफ एनर्जी एफिशियंसी इज एस्टाब्लिश अंडर द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन एक्ट जब से लागू हुआ से उसके बाद से ब्यूरो ऑफ एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी का उसका कमिटमेंट हुआ है वो स्टैब्लिश हुआ है और उसका काम क्या है अवेयरनेस स्प्रेड करना तो यू कैन सी द चेंज इन द माइंड सेट ऑफ पीपल पहले हम क्या करते थे कि हम अगर कोई एयर कंडीशनर परचेस करने जाते थे तो हमें सिर्फ पता होता था ब्रांड एंड द टनेज रेटिंग बट नाउ पीपल आर सो मच अवेयर दैट दे विल ऑल्सो आस द स्टार रेटिंग सो दैट इज अ रीजन द अवेयरनेस प्ले अ वेरी क्रुशल रोल पहले किसी को पता ही नहीं होता था कि इसमें भी एफिशियंसी होती है आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट टेन ईयर्स बैक सिनारी नाउ पीपल आर पहले बोलेंगे आप टनेज और दूसरा बोलेंगे स्टार रेटिंग एंड देन द ब्रांड विल कम तो दिस इज द मेजिक ऑफ अवेयरनेस सो इन केस ऑफ फैंस ब्यूरो ऑफ एनर्जी एफिशियंसी इज अलोटेड स्टार रेटिंग बेस्ड अपॉन द सर्विस वैल्यू दैट इज सर्विस वैल्यू इज सी एम एम फॉर अच्छा दूसरे अप्लाइंसेज में हम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेस काफी सारे यूज करने लगे हैं अभी घर में राइट अब इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेज में एडवांटेज क्या है कि भाई आपको रिमोट से आप उसको ऑफ कर सकते हो 
बट दिस मिसकनसेप्शन उसको एक्चुअल में ऑफ नहीं कर रहे हैं उसको स्टैंड बाय पे रख रहे हैं when you are turning off this tv or the setup box or any appliance with the help of remote you are not actually turning it off you are actually putting it on standby mode jaise aapka computer hota hai waise to standby mode mein bhi uska auxiliary power consumption continuously chalu rehta hai right so all these things consumes a very high amount of power ek se agar aapke teen appliances chalu rahe the that mein each appliance may consume 10 watt per device right so that is please turn off the mechanical switch when it is not in Use. Don't keep it on standby mode. So that is how we can contribute to the conservation. Air conditioner, a magical device. Ah, uh, where you will get engineering ke sare applications mil jayenge, mostly, starting from the mechanical, thermal engineering, electrical engineering, chemical engineering, sab kuch. Uska ek combination hai, acha sa. So heat exchanger bhi hai yahan pe, sab kuch hai. Ab yahan pe jo hai, zada se zada hume energy saving ke opportunities milte hain. तो सबसे पहले तो इसमें पॉइंट था इट शुड हैव ऑटोमेटिक टेम्परेचर कट ऑफ तो अभी तो मॉडर्न एसीज में सब में ऑटोमेटिक टेम्परेचर कट ऑफ होते हैं बट नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज दैट व्हाट शुड बी द टेम्परेचर सेटिंग हमें कितने टेम्परेचर के ऊपर उसको सेट करना चाहिए सो द सप्लायर द मैन्युफैक्चर गिव द ऑप्शंस फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम 18 डिग्रीज टू व्हाटएवर यू वांट टू राइट एंड इन मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द केसेस वी सेट इट टू 22 23 डिग्री सेटिंग पे बट द थिंग इज दैट इज दैट करेक्ट ऑप्शन no if we talk about the human body of our comfort level then our human body is comfortable even at 27 28 degree centigrade it is for uh, it is uh, like uh, like comfortable situation for us even if it is not humid matlab agar humidity aur bhi kam hai to we can even comfortable to 29 degrees so unnecessarily usko 25 24 23 22 degree degrees pe ya to 20 degrees pe set karne ka koi matlab nahi hai So the best practice is to open the door and windows when the room is closed. Turn on the fan at full speed. Exchange the air with the atmospheric air. Close all the doors, windows, and turn the AC on at 26 to 28 degrees centigrade. Why? Because every one degree temperature setting will be will be down. मतलब अगर आप 26 से 25 कर दिया आपने, then there will be 3 percent more energy consumption. Every one degree will consume 3 percent higher power. So you can now imagine if you are setting it at 20 degrees, then you are losing a lot of energy. Apart from that, leakage should be avoided. Leakage means uh, whatever utility you are using, using whether it is cold air, yeah, to hot water, yeah, to um, steam or whatever it may be. If it is not being utilized for what purpose it is generated, mind well. अगर हमने cool air को generate किया room को ठंडा करने के लिए तो वो उसी room को ठंडा करना चाहिए. अगर वो कहीं बाहर जाता है इट इट लीकेज लॉस सो वी हैव टू इंश्योर दैट द डोर्स एंड विंडोज आर स्टिल प्रॉपर्ली देयर शुड नॉट बी लीकेज एंड वी शुड अवॉइड डायरेक्ट कांटेक्ट विद द हीट सोर्स राइट जिस कमरे को आपको कंडीशन करना है वहां पे डायरेक्ट हीट का एंट्रेंस नहीं होना चाहिए सो नाव इज द विंडोज आर अवेलेबल सच दैट इट कैन अलाउ द लाइट टू पास थ्रू दैट विंडो बट इट विल नॉट अलाउ इट विल ट्रैप द हीट वो सन की जो हीट होगी उसको ट्रैप कर लेंगे only light ko enter hone de so this type of windows are now glasses are now available and uh, famous architectures and uh, designers are using uh, they are already started using this okay so this is about ac uh, ac ke bare mein mai kuch te technical details hai yahan pe the tonnage rating ke hisab se hamara ac decide hota hai right now what is tonnage rating so probably mechanical students ko pata hota hai lekin to being electrical students hum isko zyada dhyan nahi dete hain so it is what uh, one ton of refrigeration is as good as Removing the 3024 kilocalorie of heat every hour. मतलब it's a power rating. That is kilocalorie is energy per hour. तो अगर आप एक कमरे से एक room में से अगर आप 3024 kilocalorie of heat is being rejected every hour, that means one tonnage of refrigeration is enough. So you can decide your AC rating based upon your room size, your uh, room size and the temperature difference, that is delta T and the volume. So this is how we can verify your requirement of tonnage. And again, I have listed some of the uh, efficiency ratios given by the Bureau of Energy Efficiency for the star rating. Now you will observe that the star ratings are changing year on year or every two years. Why? Because the technology is continuously improving. So, कल को जो मैस टेक्नोलॉजी अवेलेबल थी, वो आज जो है ऑब्सोलेट हो सकती है, या तो उसके अच्छे भी अच्छी टेक्नोलॉजी अवेलेबल हो सकती है. So 
Bureau of Energy Efficiency is continuously monitoring that and they are upgrading, upgrading their star ratings based upon this. Now, what is energy efficiency ratio? That is British thermal unit of per hour refrigeration effect upon what input. That is what to what. That is what to what. That is what first numerator is in uh, thermal energy and the denominator is in electrical energy. So we are not going in much detail of this. We have to be careful whenever you are buying an AC, you have to ensure that tonnage rating is sufficient. Secondly, the star rating should be of proper year. Because what happens sometimes कि स्टार रीडिंग फाइव स्टार दिखा देते हैं वो लेवल के ऊपर बोर्ड उसका ईयर भी देखना जरूरी है कौन सी ईयर का ही इट शुड बी ऑफ अकॉर्डिंग टू द लेटेस्ट स्टैंडर्ड सो दिस इज हाउ हाउ वी कैन सेव द एनर्जी एट आवर होम वी कैन स्टार्ट विथ आवर होम तो हमने अभी तक क्या देखा अगेन एनर्जी कंजम्पन इज द इंडिकेटर ऑफ कंट्रीज प्रोस्परिटी एनर्जी कंजम्पन बढ़ता है दैट मीन्स द लिविंग स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ दिटीजन आर इंप्रूविंग so we cannot we are not saying that don't use air conditioner don't use four wheelers we are not saying that don't you don't uh, use lights and fans we are saying that use it effectively jo bhi aap use karo usko acche se use karo does not mean that no use of energy right when it is a family time everybody is sitting in the prime time 9 pm uh, in the everybody is watching tv aapne sab kuch band kar diya ki sir ne bola ek chalo band kar do no use it बट इफेक्टिवली अगर हाँ किसी कमरे में लाइट अननेसेसरी चालू है फैन अननेसेसरी चालू है एयर कंडीशनर ऐसे ही चालू है देन टर्न इट ऑफ राइट ओके सो दिस इज वेरी मच क्लियर इट इज इट डज नॉट मीन नो यूज ऑफ एनर्जी इट मीन इफेक्टिव एफिशियंट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ एनर्जी ओके Okay, I would like to take some questions in between. I think we are uh, in between the presentation. We'll be now starting with the industrial aspects. I'll show you one video of that also. Uh, but Mehul sir, uh, uh, if we can have some questions, if anybody has any queries, we can take up on that. Mm. If any of the student, of the student is facing some questions, uh, you can please raise your hands. Uh, I think I have one student. with okay. raised hand great yeah it's uh, 69 can you hear me 19043019090969 please go on with your question if you have any query or any doubt your mic is unmuted I mean, you can unmute your mic and go on with your question. Yes. Do we have any questions other than this? Or else, if you feel shy with your questions, you can. I mean, put it in the chat box also. your questions are uh, i hope everything is in line with your uh, like um, see it's a webinar so it's a little bit difficult to judge the feedback right uh, if it is a live thing we can certainly we can uh, turns turns around like we when we feel that this is off like uh, off the track so we can again come back to the original track but it's a little bit uh, difficult uh, on this platform yes yes is there any questions yeah 69 you can What's unmute your mic by yourself do it by yourself you will be able to do it uh, he is un unable to unmute yeah thing is in chat box anyway you can put the question in the chat box i'll i'll raise it for you type your question in the chat box if possible anyway chirag as and when the question is available i'll be up to that you can you can intimate please go on with your uh, presentation sure sure all right so now we'll be discussing uh, about the industries right okay and uh, before moving ahead i will just show you a small video of um, this uh, like just for your uh, overall things which we have uh, seen up till now i'll just share a video about this 
to make uh, keep it interesting. Is it visible, sir? Mm. Screen is already shared. Uh, I can see the ribbon of the application, but not the video. Uh, yeah, now I think the screen is there. I think there is some latency. Okay, we'll continue with the video as uh, at the, by the end of the se session. Uh, as of now, we'll continue with the presentation. So, uh, in industry, kafi um, sari jagape has been discussed that energy intensity is very very high. So, at so many, uh, there are so many opportunities to save the energy. But now the thing is that again, why and how? Why to hume pata hai Now it is how. Ghar pe hume pata hai kaise kar sakte how industry. So there is a very simple thumb rule. The things which you can't measure, you can't, you cannot control. The things which you cannot measure or monitor, you cannot control or limit. Just a key simple thing. Uh, let's say, for example, aapke paas, you are having 100 rupees note in your pocket at the at the starting of the day, and by end of the day, it is null. That is no nothing in your pocket now. So that means you must have used the 100 rupees. But if you if you don't have any record. That where have you used that? Then you will not be able to verify or justify whether it is you have actually used it or it might you might have dropped it somewhere. So this is a simple aspect that until and unless you will not be able to verify, monitor, and analyze, then you will not, not be able to save. So this energy audit ka jo hum industry mein energy audit karte hai, uska fundamental rule hai, the verification, monitoring, and analysis of use of energy. The first thing is monitoring. We have to define a premises. Ke is premise ka mujhe energy audit karna hai. The first thing is that how much energy is entering into the premises. We have to monitor that. Whether it is uh, coal, whether it is oil, or whether it is electricity. We have to uh, identify the total input of the energy. Then the second thing is the analysis of use. This can be example. Dunga. We know every process being an engineer. Now we know all the process, how the energy is being converted. Whether it is a motor, it is converting the electrical energy into the mechanical energy or a generator, which is converting mechanical energy into electrical energy or a pump, which is converting a, we can say that electrical energy into mechanical energy. So Garam pump ka example. Le, so we know that that if you are, if you know that how much more water is to be moved at what elevation. So we know the quantity of water. We know the elevation that is a head, us bolte hai head, or hame kitne time me usko transfer karna hai, right? So flow rate that is amount of water per hour or per minute or per second, whatever it may be. So that is flow rate and the head. So if you know head and flow rate, then you can identify that how much energy will be required to uplift the water. And pata against the gravity, if you are working, you have to supply the energy. So on the basis of that, you can identify the out output work is this much. This is the output energy required. And you can put a meter and you can identify how much energy is being consumed by the pump 
as simple as that so output energy and input energy you are having both the numbers now we can compare so if you'll find that it should consume 100 units and on the contrary it is consuming 170 units so then you mean you will come to that there is a gap of 70 units certainly so you cannot save all the 70 units usme se kuch ka conversion ratio conversion ka jo aapka efficiency hoga wo to aayega hi aayega so losses to honge wahan pe but how can you how can you confine that losses to the minimum value aur ab ye 70 ko hum 20 ya to 30 kaise kar sakte hain so that can be done with the analysis of use of energy hum kahan pe energy use kar rahe hain kuch kuch kisi cheez ko hame heat up karna hai let's say for example agar water water hai usko steam mein convert karna hai then we know all the formulas then we know how much energy will be required and how much energy we are supplying to the boiler that means we can analyze the use of energy same way jaise ki maine aapko aapke ghar ke ac ka example diya you know the volume of air available in the room you know the delta t the initial temperature is 32 degree and you want to bring it down to 35 uh, sorry uh, 25 degrees there is a delta t of 8 degrees or 9 degrees then you can uh, you have the specific heat of air so all these calculations can be done so this is being done by the energy auditor in the industry so verification monitoring and the analysis of use iske baad hota hai submission of technical report acha ye sab baatein kar li uska koi matlab nahi hai until unless you will not make a proper formatted report and so that everyone will be on the same level sabko pata chale ki ha iska meaning kya hai isko iska importance kya hai aur usko kyu karna hai right because not all, not everyone is so much technical so we have to make them aware the owners of the industry or the working people we have to uh, uh, tr- we have to we have to um, gain their trust that what we are doing is for your betterment technical report is being submitted with the recommendations ki agar yahan pe aapka loss ho raha hai to usko hame kaise curb karna hai kaise usko reduce karna hai that contains the recommendation for improving the energy efficiency say for example jaise ki maine bataya ki bhai pump hai wo uh, 100 units consume karna chahiye uski jagah 170 units consume kar raha hai so we have identified that something is wrong with the motor or the pump whether it is to uh, something repairing work is required for like bearing mein kuch problem hai ya to fir pump mein kuch problem hai we have to identify and we have to recommend a solution along with the cost benefit analysis what does it mean so when we are suggesting some recommendation certainly some cost will be involved even if we'll say that this is to be repaired is motor ko repair karna padega matlab wahan pe kuch expense hoga so that is to be justified ki agar hum isko itna expense karenge to after repairing that how much will be the benefit that key savings ke uh, in the form of savings will be able to recover our expenses that is called simple payback period so all these things are there in the included in the energy audit report right so what are the advantages of energy audit so we can reduce the losses of the system under study we can certainly increase the overall efficiency of the system and we can reduce the specific power consumption of plant certainly in terms of money the owners will get the profit higher profit margin for the same output okay i would like to uh, explain uh, two case studies two to three case studies sab bahut kuch ek cheeze bahut common hoti hai common sense ki bhi hoti hai but the thing is that the people are not seriously looking at that usko usko zyada importance nahi dete hain so in case one i can say that in one of the industry we observed that there was a single stage water cool reciprocating type air compressor ab air compressor jo hota hai sare industries mein hote hain koi kahin pe choti capacity mein hota hai kahin pe bada hota hai to every industry is using the air compressors and there are varieties of compressors available you might have seen some of the compressor at petrol pump as well ab yahan pe jo tha wo compressor work kaise karta hai suction jo hota hai wo atmospheric pressure pe hota hai aur jo required pressure hota hai 4 kg 5 kg 6 kg per centimeter square wahan tak wo leke jata hai aur stop ho jata hai so we observed that when it is reached the it, it the pressure setting is being reached the uh, uh, compressor will still working but it is not compressing there that is a standard feature right that is called unloading cycle so loading mein wo compressor kaam karta hai aur compress karta hai air ko unloading cycle mein kya karta hai ki wo no load pe run karta rehta hai so that was a very frequent scenario in one of the industry and we observed that that is not that should not desire that is not desirable so we recommend them to use the variable frequency drive so that they can synchronize the speed of the compressor to 
गेट द कंटिन्यूस सप्लाई ऑफ द एयर तो फ्रीक्वेंट लोडिंग अनलोडिंग साइकिल को हमें अवॉइड करना था तो वी सजेस्टेड दैम वी एफ डी एंड वी फाउंड दैट देर वॉज एनुअल सेविंग दैट वॉज अप्रोक्सिमेटली ऑफ नाइनटीन थाउजेंड रुपीज नाइनटीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड पेबेक पीरियड वॉज ओनली ट्वेंटी जो इन्वेस्टमेंट कॉस्ट थी वो ट्वेंटी फोर मंथ्स में वापस मिल गई right so you can consider that 40000 was the cost of vfd and every year they saved so approximately 20000 so within 2 years they recovered the cost of the vfd and then next year onwards it is a complete save another case study is of maximum demand controller a pareto contract demand kya hota hai aur maximum demand kya hota hai that we are aware about this contract demand is the demand which we disclose to the distribution company मतलब कि आज मैं कुछ इंडस्ट्री इंस्टॉल करने जा रहा हूं तो आई हैव टू आस द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कंपनी डिस्कॉम दैट इज पीजीवीसीएल और यूजीवीसीएल दैट आई आई एम गोइंग टू कंज्यूम दिस मच अमाउंट ऑफ पावर सो प्लीज अलॉट मी द कनेक्शन नाउ व्हाई इट इज रिक्वायर्ड बेसिस अपॉन दैट बेस्ड अपॉन दिस द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कंपनी विल डिसाइड द द लाइन एंड द इक्विपमेंट्स दैट इज द व्हाट शुड बी द क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया व्हाट शुड बी द लेंथ व्हाट शुड बी द रेटिंग ऑफ ट्रांसफार्मर एंड सो ऑन and apart from that they will also decide whether the substation can uh, uh, that can able to get this much load or not ya to fir unko alag se ek fitter design karna padega so all these things are required so contract demand is the demand which you are disclosing to the discom that i am going to consume this much but later on because of some additional machinery or some uh, typical load cycle it may happen that you may cross the contract demand matlab ki aapne bola hai ki main 100 kilo load consume karunga but somehow you started consuming 120 125 or 150 kilowatt then what may happen then all the equipments which are in the line from the distribution company are getting overloaded and then losses will increase including the line loss and the transform loss so to avoid this the distribution company will charge the penalty to the consumer whoever is exceeding the contract demand that is called maximum demand charges तो उसके लिए हमने कंज्यूमर को बोला कि आप एमडी कंट्रोलर लगाओ नाउ व्हाट इज एमडी कंट्रोलर इट इज सिंपली अ एनर्जी मीटर व्हिच विल रिकॉर्ड द रनिंग एमडी द मैक्सिमम डिमांड को ऑब्जर्व करता है एंड इट विल प्रेडिक्ट दैट इफ इट इज द सेम रेट इफ द लोड इज कीप ऑन कंटिन्यू इट इज कीप ऑन इंक्रीजिंग देन द कांटेक्ट डिमांड विल बी एक्सीडेड तो उसको पेनल्टी होने के चांसेस हैं तो कंट्रोलर विल गिव द सिग्नल और इट विल टर्न ऑफ द on import that is a non uh, important load or less critical loads their own so humne unko suggest kiya ki aap md controller lagao and the payback period was only 15 months they installed a md controller and they they recovered the cost of md controller within 15 months there is a second case uh power factor improvement sabko pata hota hai but abhi bhi kafi industries hai jahan pe uh wo ignore karte hain ki ha chalo theek hai chhota sa penalty hum bhar dete hain because their profit margins are very very high so they they are not bothering about the losses right that is a power factor penalty simple kya karna hota hai hame capacitors lagane hote hain so we just suggested them that to install the capacitor and they uh, they could save the penalty of the power factor and the payback period was only 4 months i will also uh, go in detail for that factor that how to select the capacitor to compensate the negative power okay or uh, leakage is wala point hai we are skipping that because it is more or less related to compressed air and the uh, steam okay uh now what is what we are doing in energy audit i have just brief you we are not going much in detail um the the uh, steps of audit or we can say the major points of the audit are monitoring and control so unless we will not be able to monitor we will not be able to control right uh monitoring and control itself can to 2-5% of energy reduction of losses any type of loss loss whether it is uh, electrical loss whether it is compressed air whether it is steam whether it is cool air whether it is hot air all the losses should be avoided and we can save 10 to 15% of saving in the industry improvement in operations there are so many ways uh, we now know that uh, uh, the task which can be done in a different way can also save the energy agar aap ek hi cheez ko alag alag tarike se karte hain to bhi wahan pe aapko energy saving ki opportunities hain यहाँ पे ये प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं है कि आई कैन एक्सप्लेन दैट इन डिटेल बट वेन यू विल बी वर्किंग इन द इंडस्ट्री यू इफ यूल फॉलो द फ्लो चार्ट इफ यूल फॉलो द प्लान इफ यूल फॉलो द प्लानिंग साइकिल देन डेफिनेटली यू कैन सेव द मच मोर अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी आई कैन सी आई कैन सिंपली गिव यू सिंपल एग्जाम्पल की एक 
स्टील इंडस्ट्री है तो स्टील इंडस्ट्री में क्या होता है कि जो रो मटेरियल होता है जो स्क्रैप उसको मेल्ट करते हैं हाई टेम्परेचर के ऊपर ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड के ऊपर उसके बाद उसको जो मोल्टन मेटल होता है उसको उसके जो शेप होते हैं स्टैंडर्ड शेप उसके अंदर वो पोर कर देते ताकि वो ठंडा होकर वो शेप निकले नाउ द ऑपरेशन साइकिल शुड बी दैट द स्क्रैप शुड बी चार्ज इट शुड बी मेल्टेड एंड देन इट शुड बी इट इज रेडी द मोल्ड शुड बी रेडी सो दैट यू कैन पोर द मेटल Now the thing is that if the melt, molten metal is ready, but the molds are not ready, then you have to hold that molten metal at 1200 degree centigrade for longer time. And the time by the time, जब तक आप उसको hold करें, that means you are wasting the so much amount of energy because you cannot allow that to cool it down. Otherwise, it will solidify. So, आपका planning ऐसा होना चाहिए कि molds जो हैं साथ में ready हो जाने चाहिए by the time molten metal is ready. So this is a simple example of improvement in operations, right? adoption of efficient equipments process and the system approach so that we know you just look for the best available technology and go for that so we are skipping this and just directly come to the uh, electrical appliances that is motor right so motors may uh, now we know that induction motors are very popular and we can say that almost 70% of electricity is being generated is being consumed by the motor there is a thumb rule right and we agree with this because even if you look at your home appliances almost all the appliances except the lightings right illumination uske alawa jitne bhi appliances hain sab mein kahin na kahin pe motors use hote hain whether it is air conditioner or the um washing machine refrigerator everywhere and mainly wo hote hain hamare induction motors abhi tak ki jo hai अभी जो ट्रेंड चल रहा है उसमें इंडक्शन मोटर है अभी जो है इन्वर्टर बेस जहां पे आप सुनते हो वहां पे आपके होते हैं स्पेशल मशीन रशलेस डीसी मोटर होता है तो पीएमएसएम होता है लाइक दैट अब यहां पे क्या मैटर करता है मोटर्स के केस में एफिशिएंसी जो है वो कैसे आपका कंजम्पन uh, आपका जो रनिंग कॉस्ट है वो बढ़ा देता है जस्ट गिव एग्जाम्पल लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू वॉन्ट अवेंटी फाइव सेवन पॉइंट फाइव किलो वॉट ऑफ आउटपुट हमारा जो मोटर का आउटपुट होता है वो किलो वॉट में रेटेड होता है और जो रेटेड होता है दैट इज आउटपुट एनर्जी नॉट द इनपुट एनर्जी आउटपुट पावर रहा था सो लेट अस कंसीडर दैट टू केसेस वी आर हैविंग टू 7.5 किलोवाट मोटर्स वन इज विद द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ 88% अनदर वन इज द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ 86% अह इफ यू लुक एट अगर आप परचेस करने जाते हैं यू विल फाइंड दैट द 88% एफिशिएंसी मोटर इज कॉस्टिंग ₹23000 एंड 86% एफिशिएंसी मोटर इज कॉस्टिंग ओनली ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज मतलब की इनिशियल कॉस्ट में थ्री थाउजेंड का डिफरेंस है थ्री थाउजेंड मतलब मोर देन टेन परसेंट सो यू माइट थिंक लाइक इट शुड नॉट वी शुड गो फॉर एटी सिक्स परसेंट एफिशियंसी वाई शुड गो फॉर एटी एट परसेंट दो परसेंट के लिए हम टेन परसेंट ज्यादा क्यों खर्च करें बट यू हैव टू एनालाइज द लाइफ साइकिल कॉस्ट अब लाइफ साइकिल कॉस्ट क्या होता है कैसे एनालाइज करते हैं लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल एवरी ईयर द मोटर इज गोइंग टू रन फॉर सिक्स थाउजेंड ईयर्स सिक्स थाउजेंड आवर्स 6000 थाउजेंड आवर्स वो हर साल वो चलने वाली और मोटर का जो लाइफ है 10 ईयर्स का है तो वो 10 ईयर्स में कितना एनर्जी कंज्यूम करेगी सो फॉर द फर्स्ट केस फॉर 86% सिक्स परसेंट एफिशियंसी द किलोवाट इनपुट विल बी एट पॉइंट सेवन टू एंड इफ इट विल वर्क फॉर सिक्स थाउजेंड आवर्स अयर देन इट विल कंज्यूम फिफ्टी टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी यूनिट्स इन अयर ऑन द अदर साइड इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर एटी एट परसेंट एफिशियंसी Uh, it will be consuming 5000 51120 units a year to yahan pe dekhi ek saal mein consumption mein kitna difference hai and if you consider again conservative target agar aap leke chalte hain ki bhai 5 rupees a unit right abhi to market mein abhi jo industry mein hai wo 8 to 9 rupees per unit hota hai so if you are considering that 5 rupees a unit then also within one year the first motor will consume electricity worth rupees 2 lakh 61600 rupees उसका कॉस्ट जो है ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज है बट वो उसका खर्चा कितना है उसका एक्सपेंस कितना है रनिंग कॉस्ट टू लैख सिक्सटी वन थाउजेंड अयर वाइल द अदर मोटर इज कॉस्टिंग उसका एनर्जी रनिंग कॉस्ट है टू लैख फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड तो अगर आप टेन इयर्स का इसका निकालेंगे रनिंग कॉस्ट लाइफ साइकिल कॉस्ट देन द फर्स्ट मोटर विल बी कंज्यूमिंग द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी और द एनर्जी वर्थ रुपीज ट्वेंटी सिक्स लैख सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड रुपीज वाइल द अदर मोटर विद एटी एट परसेंट एफिशियंसी विल बी कंज्यूमिंग अप्रोक्सिमेटली 25 लाख 50,000, 56,000 56, मतलब कि आपका रनिंग कॉस्ट का सेविंग जो है दैट कैन बी अप्रोक्सिमेटली 60,000 थाउजेंड रुपीज टेन साल टेन टेन ईयर्स का तो अगर आप 3,000 थाउजेंड रुपीज बचाने के चक्कर में आप सिक्स सिक्सटी थाउजेंड रुपीज का लॉस हो जाता 
so life cycle cost is very much important to analyze while selecting a proper rating of the motor and the efficiency of the motor apart from that nowadays we are having options jaise ki hamara awareness badhta hai to hamare paas energy efficiency ke classes hain i1 i2 i3 and i4 class efficiency wo hum dekhte hain uske graphs but before that what should be avoided in case of motors ideal and redundant running of compressor conveyors cooling towers etc so as i told you sometimes it may happen that the motor is detached from the load but it is still running on the no load like conveyors ya to compressors hote hain isme koi load nahi hai but fir bhi motor chal hue so that is called idle running and that is to be avoided by putting a proper sensors or the mechanism automation karke hum usko kar sakte hain aaram se pumping system air conditioning system are designed for the worst ambient conditions for the maximum throughput यहाँ पे क्या है कि जब आप डिजाइन करते हैं किसी भी सिस्टम को पंपिंग सिस्टम या तो एयर कंडीशनिंग एच जो भी है तो डिजाइनर जो है वहां पे कुछ मार्जिन रखते हैं वहां पे जो थम रूल्स के हिसाब से या तो कोई कैलकुलेशन के हिसाब से डिजाइन मार्जिन रखते हैं कि भाई आपको आपकी रिक्वायरमेंट है फाइव एच की आप लेके आओ सेवन जो नेक्स्ट स्टैंडर्ड रेटिंग है वो लेके आओ दैट इज फाइन ना आप मार्जिन रख लो टेन का टेन ट्वेंटी का बट अगेन यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल बाई द टाइम इट विल बी प्रोक्योर्ड इंडस्ट्री में काफी सारे डिपार्टमेंट डिपार्टमेंट होते हैं फ्रॉम द डिजाइन टू द प्रोक्योरमेंट तो यहाँ पे कभी कभी ये गैप बहुत बढ़ जाता है ये जो आपका मार्जिन होता है सेफ्टी मार्जिन वो बहुत बढ़ जाता है तो जहां पे रिक्वायरमेंट होती है फाइव एचपी की वहां पे आ जाती है टेन एचपी मतलब यूल बी लूजिंग कंटिन्यूसलीटिंग एट द हाफ लोड इट वी रनिंग एट द हाफ लोड तो कभी कभी ये हमारे जो रेटिंग होते हैं वो मैक्सिम थ्रू पोर्ट के लिए मतलब वर्स कंडीशन के लिए डिजाइन होते हैं तो यहाँ पे हमारे पास अपॉर्चुनिटीज होती है कि उसको मैक्सिमम लोड के ऊपर कैसे ऑपरेट करें तो उसके लिए हम यूज कर सकते हैं यूज करके उसके कैरेक्टरिस्टिक को हम टेलर मेड कर सकते हैं ताकि हम उसको मैक्सिमम लोड पॉइंट के ऊपर हम उसको यूटिलाइज कर सकते हैं एयर फ्लो वाटर फ्लो कैन बी रिड्यूस इन द विंटर एंड फॉर द लो प्रोडक्शन पीरियड अगेन द इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग द डैम्पर्स एंड लाइक ऑब्स्टिकल्स वी कैन यूज द वी एफ टी टू कंट्रोल द एयर फ्लो एंड वाटर The problem of oversize or the underloaded motor. Certainly, अगर आपको जहां जरूरत है फाइव एच पी की अगर आपने वहां पर टेन एच पी की मोटर ले ली तो क्या होगा सर्टनली हाई इनिशियल कॉस्ट द रनिंग कॉस्ट विल बी हाई बिकॉज एट पार्शल लोड द एफिशियंसी विल बी वेरी पुअर ये हमें पता है राइट सर्टनली द पावर फैक्टर विल बी पुअर एट द पार्शल लोड हमें मैक्सिमम पावर फैक्टर कहाँ पे मिलता है नियर द मैक्सिमम लोड राइट और पावर फैक्टर अगर खराब है तो आपका केवी रेटिंग ओवरशूट करेगा एंड दैट विल इनडायरेक्टली कोज द एमडी टू ओवरशूट आपका जो मैक्सिमम डिमांड है वो ओवरशूट हो जाएगा ओके okay. और मेंटेनेंस और रनिंग कॉस्ट भी आपका ज्यादा रहेगा सो ऑलवेज अवॉइड टू ओवर साइज और अंडरलोड द मोटर हाँ सटनली इट में हैपन अगर हो गया है तो वी कैन नॉट अवॉइड तो वी हैव टू टेक द प्रिकॉशनरी एक्शन की अब क्या करें अगर हमने ऑलरेडी परचेज किया वी कैन नॉट वी आर इन नॉट कंडीशन टू बाई द न्यू वन राइट तो हमें कैसे उसको उसको ट्रिम करना है या तो उसको कैसे वीएफडी यूज करके उसको हम कैरेक्टर को मैच कर सकते हैं दैट इज टू बी नाउ एज यू नो दैट आई जस्ट डिस्क्राइब दैट आर स्टैंडर्ड एफिशिएंसी मोटर हाई एफिशिएंसी मोटर्स प्रीमियम एफिशिएंसी मोटर्स एंड सुपर प्रीमियम एफिशिएंसी मोटर्स अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट नाउ दैट इज कैटेगराइज एज आई वन आई टू आई थ्री एंड आई फोर तो इन इंडस्ट्री नाउ स्टैंडर्ड एंड हाई एफिशियंसी मोटर्स आर ऑब्सोलेट ऑलमोस्ट इट इज मैंडेटरी यूज आई थ्री और आई फोर I4 is super premium efficiency class belongs to the special machines that probably you will be learning in your final semester uh, PM BL PM BLDC or PMSM or BLDC motors which contains the special mechanism so all these are coming under the efficiency class of I4 you can observe the cause of the I1 to I4 motors so we know that higher the rating better is the efficiency because lower rating mein hamare fixed losses zyada hote compared to the uh, like running lo running loss right okay copper loss so uh, we can see, see this uh, in um, higher rating up to 200 kilowatt right there is a very small margin in the uh, efficiency uh, of the i1 to i4 but still it is significant and the major change is at lower rating 5 hp or 7 hp 7.5 hp ke upar aap uh, kilowatt ke upar aap dekh sakte ho yahan pe efficiency mein bahut zyada fark hai so depending upon your usage depending upon your requirement hours of running you can select the appropriate rating of the motor we are uh, done with the motor we'll be skipping this compressed air because it is regarding the utility 
I will come back to the power factor. Uh, uh, Chirag, very uh, yes. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, there is a question by one of the participant. Yes. If you can take it up, please. Sure, sure. Yes. What is the question? Yeah, his question is like, why are uh, we not uh, ramping up our renewable sources to fulfill the energy demand? Okay. Uh, we have a very huge potential in the renewable energy sector, but still we are not uh, ramping this sector much compared okay. to other uh, countries. Okay. So can I take this question at the, by the end of presentation? Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah, definitely. I'll just uh, will completely yeah. will complete this within 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll take I'll take up uh, take up the questions, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. okay. Uh, power factor improvement. Okay. So all of us are very much aware about the importance of power factor. Uska aapka question paper mein bhi bahut sara importance hota hai, aur hamara real life mein bhi itna importance hota hai, right? It is not just limited to your academics now. So whenever you'll be uh, visiting an industry or any three phase connection, just observe the electricity bill and identify how much they are paying for the for not maintaining the power factor. Aap observe karo pe bhi. So aapko abhi bhi kafi sari jagah pe milega ki unko pata nahi hota ki what is power factor and why should we improve this. Uh, disadvantage of poor power factor, we are very much aware about this. Higher, poor power factor will cause the higher apparent current, uh, higher R square R, I square R losses, cable losses, line losses. Heating will be higher. Uske kafi sare hamare disadvantages hai. Uska ek short note hai aapka pura that you must be aware about. So all in all, we have to maintain the power factor unity. Now, what is power factor? I'm not going to explain that. That is a ratio of uh, active power to the apparent power. That's it, right? We are not going in much detail. So in industry, uh, th why they are uh, imposing the penalty? Because aap jo actual mein use kar rahe, uske liye to aapka meter record kar rahe, KWH. But if you use it, you will also consume it. That's why the distribution company has losses bear karne padte hai. That is I square of losses. Right? In their transform and distribution lines, there are losses. Hota hai. And the KVA capacity ka jo utilization is not also. The generating station ka jo utilization factor is also down. Ho jata hai. So all these are the reasons that that is why they are uh, imposing the penalty for the PF, not maintaining the PF. Right? So how uh, can PF kaise improve kar sakte hai? So PF improvement ke liye humare paas formulas hain, but uske calculations bhi hume pata hai ki cost five is what and that is KW upon KV and we can find out the cost five by we can find out the phi and we can compensate the ratio. But all in all, agar in sab mein calculation mein nahi jana hai, to every capacitor manufacturer will provide a simple table along with the capacitor. You can just refer the table and you can identify how much KVR is required. It's very simple for anybody. Koi bhi industry mein kaam karay, to isko kaise read karay? I'll just give you example. So on left hand side column, it is a old power factor. Let's say for example, abhi ka hamara power factor hai 0.85. And if you want to improve the horizontal, the horizontal line, right? Let's say for example, we want to improve to 0.99. So we have to look at the cross section. That is 0.85 or 0.99 ka cross section. Cross section hota hai. Yahan pe number hai, factor hai 0.477. What does it mean? It means that for for every kilowatt you need 0.477 kVR of capacitor. But if you have a kilowatt ka load hai, or initial power factor 0.85 or you improve karna hai 0.99, you simply 0 0.477 ka, 0 0.477 kVR ka capacitor ko install karna hai. Agar aapka load hai 100 kilowatt ka, to aapko 47.7 kVR capacitors lagane. Agar aapka load hai 1000 kilowatt ka to aapko 477 kvr ke capacitor that's it as simple as that so this is the multiplying factor by reading this you can easily improve the power factor but again over here sometimes the challenge is that the load is not steady ki sir aapne bola ki 100 kilowatt but 100 kilowatt steady nahi hai kabhi wo 75 ho jata hai kabhi 125 ho jata hai so what should we do so uske liye hamare paas solution hota hai apfc that is automatic power factor controllers and what is that? There are switches. So what they do, they observe the power factor and according to the requirement of KVR, they either uh, contact on or they can add capacitors or they can remove the capacitors. Right? So if the load is low, they can remove the capacitors. If the load is high, they can add the capacitors. That is called APFC panels. So there is a smart meter called APFC controller. They can install and they can monitor the power factor. They can 
improve the power factor in real time. Okay, uh, we are skipping this as well. Uh, throttling losses. I'll just brief you because it is related to the uh, drive application. Throttling losses. क्या होता है? Throttling losses ऐसा हो गया कि मान लेते कि भी आपको कुछ requirement है flow की, water flow या तो air flow. You have installed a pump. आपको water flow की requirement है. You have installed a pump. Now, once the pump has been installed, its RPM is fixed, its head and flow is fixed. So, as you will turn it on, it will keep on giving the flow. अगर आपका head कम है, तो flow बढ़ जाएगा. But some situation you don't want that much flow. हमें इतना flow चाहिए नहीं. अभी ये process के requirement नहीं इतना flow हमारा. तो क्या करते हैं? वहाँ पे wall put up करते थे. So that is called throttling. Wall से क्या होता है कि आप flow को control कर सकते हो. Simple wall होता है हमारे जैसे घर में. वैसे ही tap. तो उससे क्या होता है कि प्रेशर इज कमिंग द पंप इज वर्किंग इट्स इट्स फुल रेटिंग सो इट इज ट्राइंग टू पुश द वाटर अहेड बट व्हाट वी आर वी आर रिस्ट्रिक्टिंग द फ्लो ऑफ वाटर यूजिंग द थ्रोटलिंग इसको बोलते हैं ऑब्स्टेकल तो इससे क्या होता है कि जो एनर्जी है वो ट्रांसफर होने के बजाय वहां पे लॉस हो जाएगी तो दिस इज अ वेरी बैड प्रैक्टिस इन द इंडस्ट्री वैसे ही एयर फ्लो में वो होता है एयर फ्लो में डैंपर लगाते हैं टू कंट्रोल द एयर फ्लो तो दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इज वेरी वेरी लॉसी तो उसकी जगह हमें क्या करना चाहिए तो यहाँ पे एक एग्जांपल दिया है कि हम कैसे लॉस होता है और कैसे इसको अवॉइड कर सकते हैं तो जो आपको ब्लू और ग्रीन लाइंस देते हैं देख रहे हैं आपको वो आपका है मोटर पंप का कौ तो एक्स एक्सिस के ऊपर है फ्लो और वाई एक्सिस के ऊपर है हेड तो कोई भी पंप है वो अगर आपका फ्लो कम है तो हेड बढ़ेगा राइट इफ फ्लो इज स्मॉलर दैट इज लोअर देन दैड इज हायर एंड एज द फ्लो विल इंक्रीज दैड विल गो डाउन सो दिस इज द पंप कौ और टू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एफिशियंसी Right. Okay. Now this is the pink and the orange line is the system call. So, मतलब क्या हुआ कि भई आपका यहाँ पे एक static head बनता है और एक dynamic head बनता है और friction head बनता है. अब मान लेते कि भई हमारा unthrottled output है 86 percent. That is here this point. Uh, let me just try to highlight this. Initially हमारा flow था 12,000 lpm और उसको हमें reduce करना है 9,000 lpm के ऊपर. तो हम क्या करेंगे? हमने throttle कर दिया. टोटल कर दिया तो आपका जो पिंक कव है तो जो ऑरेंज कव है वो पिंक कव बन गया वो इट विल बेंड राइट तो उसकी वजह से क्या होगा कि आपका जो लॉसेस है वाल लॉसेस यू कैन सी दैट लाइक काइंड ऑफ अ रेड रीजन ओवर ईयर दिस इज कॉल्ड वाल लॉसेस इसको अवॉइड करने के लिए हम क्या कर सकते हैं कि मोटर का स्पीड रिड्यूस अगर आप कर दें पंप का स्पीड रिड्यूस कर दें तो वो उसका कैरेक्टरिस्टिक जो है चेंज हो जाएगा सो दैट ब्लू कव विल कम डाउन टू द ग्रीन कव बाय यूजिंग द वी एफ टी एंड देर बाय यू कैन यूज यू कैन अवॉइड द फ्रिक्शन दैट इज अस और थ्रोटलिंग लॉस तो इंडस्ट्री में काफी सारी जगह पे अभी भी ये प्रैक्टिस होती है जहां पे वो थ्रोटलिंग करते हैं और उसको अवॉइड करने के लिए वीएफडी जो है वेरिएबल फ्रीक्वेंसी ड्राइव और देर आर वेरियस वेक्टर कंट्रोल ड्राइव आर अवेलेबल नाउ अट इज वी कैन यूज दैट टू रिड्यूस दिस लॉसेस ओके सो फ्रॉम इंडस्ट्री पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी आर कंक्लूडिंग दिस सेशन ओवर हियर नाउ विल टेक अप ऑन द डाउट uh the screen yeah. share has been yeah. ended i'll yeah. i'll try to uh, i mean uh, i have already make him unmute uh, just a minute, but i, I just, don't know uh, how he is not share has been terminated or it is still visible pardon my screen is still visible or it is uh, no, in the no, no, no. your screen is your screen is gone okay uh, yes 69 can you please go on You, uh, i think you should uh, i i mean you should be able to unmute your mic now sixty nine are you in the position to unmute your mic try it again uh, i have given you the right of presenter now so i think probably you should do it Hello. Is it the same question yeah, that you yeah, asked? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are audible okay. now. Sir, मुझे ये पूछना था कि सर जो हमारा ये renewable sector है, सर उसमें हम क्यों ज़्यादा focus नहीं कर रहे हैं? हम अभी भी petroleum industry इस पे crude oil पे ज़्यादा focus कर रहे हैं. हमको उसको ramp up करना चाहिए ना? Right. Okay. So I would like to answer this. Like, देखिए काफी सारी चीजें हमें पता होती हैं कि this is ideal one. 
राइट ये होना चाहिए ये नहीं होना चाहिए बट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू डिस्कार्ड द ओल्ड सिस्टम ओवर नाइट एंड स्विच ओवर टू द न्यू सिस्टम राइट इट इज अ ग्रेजुअल और फेज वाइज मैनर जैसे कि अगर हमने आज देखिए हमने हमारे अभी भी आज 235 थर्टी के थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स हैं और अभी भी कहीं जगह पे वो इंस्टॉल कर रहे हैं हम सो द ऑब्वियस क्वेश्चन सबका होना चाहिए कि भाई ये क्यों कर रहे हैं बट वी कैन नॉट अवॉइड द डिपेंडेंसी राइट देर आर एडवांटेजेस डिसएडवांटेजेस कुछ एक लिमिटेशन फैक्टर्स हैं रिन्यूएबल्स के भी जैसे कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर मान लो कि हमारा टारगेट है कि हमने हंड्रेड गीगा वॉट में करना है तो हु इज रिस्ट्रिक्टिंग अस गवर्नमेंट इज फुल्ली कमिटेड तो क्यों नहीं कर पा रहे The question is that कि भी raw material, land, the infrastructure, उसका grid connectivity, it is not overnight process. It takes so much time to establish all these things. वहाँ पे काफी सारे policy decisions लेने पड़ते हैं. Like uh, I can tell you कि आपको पता है कि ideal चीज क्या है, right? हमारे life में भी ये ये चीज ideal ये करनी चाहिए या नहीं करनी चाहिए? But it takes time. ये हमें हमारी habits change करनी पड़ती हैं. मान लेते कि हमने पूरा पूरा renewables कर दिया. तो ग्रिड स्टेबिलिटी का क्या वी हैव टू थिंक अबाउट दैट राइट अभी जो एग्जिस्टिंग जो इन्वेस्टमेंट हो गए हैं जो थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स में इन्वेस्टमेंट हो गए बड़े बड़े प्रोजेक्ट्स में इन्वेस्टमेंट हो गए उसका क्या इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर्स भी देखने पड़ते हैं हमारी सोलर पैनल की रिक्वायरमेंट जो है हमारी अभी भी काफी सारी हमारी इंपोर्ट कर रहे हैं सोलर पैनल हम यहाँ पे मैन्युफेक्चर नहीं कर पा रही थी हमारा अभी भी जो सिलिकॉन का रिक्वायरमेंट है वो इम्पोर्ट के ऊपर डिपेंडेंट है राइट रिसेंटली टू इयर्स बैक हमारे पास अभी यहाँ पे कंडला में अदानी का प्लांट लगा है वी आर हैविंग फ्यू मोर प्लांट्स इन बैंगलोर एंड प्रोबेबली इन नॉर्थ बट वी कैन नॉट फुलफिल आवर ओन रिक्वायरमेंट तो फर्स्ट थिंग द सिस्टम इज वेरी बिग वी कैन नॉट टर्न इट ओवर नाइट हम कर रहे हैं फोकस बट इट विल टेक टाइम सर्टेन इज इट ओके okay yeah it is more than satisfaction like it must be uh, do we have any other questions please raise your hand so that i can unmute them if there is a question please raise your hand the session is open to all the participants so please raise your hand i'm expecting more questions uh that's what it is supposed to be right it's quite an interesting oh. one and uh, they must have i mean okay, the session don't must have opened up ye platform sahi hai ki nahi hai bolne ke liye you can ask whatever you feel don't restrict yourself sir yes please yes Matlab, yes maine mit ka wo padha tha ki agar sara desert ko hi hum pura fully solar panel se wo kar de matlab laga de to pure world ki energy demand fulfill ho sakti hai तो हम एटलीस्ट अगर क्या बोलते हैं अपने राजस्थान में कुछ जो राजस्थान में ही नहीं हमारा तो हर जगह मतलब अच्छी सोलर लाइट मिलती है वो वन किलोवाट आवर की के वो है तो हम अलग अलग डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एरिया में हमको लगा देना चाहिए और इतना भी ज़्यादा मतलब हैवी इन्वेस्टमेंट नहीं है मतलब हमारे जो क्रूड क्रूड ऑयल जब हम इम्पोर्ट करते हैं तो जितना हमारा वो इम्पोर्ट बिल लगता है उससे तो मतलब हम एट द एंड हमको प्रॉफिट ही होने वाला है तो हम okay. इस पे मैन नेम प्लीज संस्कार से संस्कार यस राइट यू क्यों नहीं कर रहे हैं हमें भी कभी कभी गुटन होती है सबको पता है सब इतना लेक्चर देते हैं सबको पता है कर क्यों नहीं रहे हैं The thing is again, the, when you will come across the practical situation, right? जब आप market में जाते हो, industry में work करते हो, you you know how how much time frame, how much planning is required. आपको land survey करना पड़ता है. आपने बोला कि हाँ desert में कर सकते हैं. But it is not. It is general statement. अब desert में कर दो, सारा खत्म हो जाएगा. This is generalized statement. You have to assess the land कि उसका quality वहाँ पे आपका जो है वहाँ पे establish करेंगे तो उसके बाद उसका maintenance कैसे करेंगे वहाँ पे grid lines कैसे लेके जाएंगे आपने generate तो कर दिया फिर उसको feed कैसे करेंगे right stability कैसे maintain करेंगे तो there are so many factors uh, certainly cost is major factor cost is a major factor I can tell you uh, जो economic conditions हैं अभी भी subsidies देती हैं we are in under the deficit right you know that the Indian government हमारे पास इतना surplus पैसा नहीं है कि हम लगा दें सभी जगह राइट वी आर हैविंग सो मेनी थिंग्स हमारी प्रायोरिटीज हैं हेल्थ सेक्टर हैं तो काफी सारी चीजें हो रही है ग्रेजुअली हो जाएगा 
सडनली आप प्रोबेबली अभी अभी आपने न्यूज में सुना होगा कच्छ में एक बहुत बड़ा प्लांट आ रहा है राइट ऑब्जर्व द न्यूज कच्छ में हमारे पास बहुत बड़ी परमिशन मिल गई है बिकॉज ऑफ दिस पैंडमिक अगेन दो साल हम पीछे हो गए अदरवाइज ये शायद दो साल पहले हो जाता है प्रोजेक्ट बट देर आर सो मेनी कंस्टेंट फैक्टर्स ये सारी चीजें हैं जो हमें रिस्ट्रिक्ट करते हैं हमारी प्रायोरिटीज क्या होती है हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हमारी पहली प्रायोरिटी होती है एनर्जी इज अगेन अ प्रायोरिटी बट वो उसके बाद में आती है तो यस दे आर डूइंग दैट अवेयरनेस है और किया हुआ है काफी कुछ काम किया हुआ है हमारा चारणखा का जो महसाना के प्लास, uh, पास जो हमारा सोलार पार्क है दैट इज वेरी ह्यूज वी आर ऑलरेडी सी किसी भी टेक्नोलॉजी को मैच्योर होने में टाइम लगता है राइट right? आप, आपको ये भी है कि भी आज इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल सक्सेसफुल है तो वो सब क्यों नहीं दे देते हैं राइट right? बट अभी भी उसका इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर नहीं है उसके चार्जिंग स्टेशन नहीं है हमारे पास अवेलेबल उसके मेन स्किल्ड मैन पावर नहीं जिसको रिपेयर कर सके और अडेप्टिबिलिटी नहीं है कि भाई लोग को आपको ही बोलू की मैं आप एक ले लो न्यू बाइक ले लो इलेक्ट्रिक बाइक उसका इनिशियल कॉस्ट बहुत ज्यादा है और फिर कि भाई इसमें ये हो गया तो इसमें वो हो गया तो देर आर सो मेनी क्वेश्चन सो इट इज नॉट अडेप्टेबल टू कॉमन पीपल तो दिस आर द प्रैक्टिकल कंस्टेंट जर्मनी Uh, they right. have integrated up to more than i mean beyond 50% of its rate yes. right? in terms of renewable yes, right. but then the impact is huge like negative tariff you can witness over there true true for that the consumption of you observe that negative tariff over there right <laughs> they need to pay yes you consume this and we will pay you <laughs> <laughs> so there are so many things like yeah yes. yeah you cannot stability is a big constraint true so anyway it's a good question and uh, hope yes. it has been addressed uh, okay, do we have any more questions do we have any questions from any other participant uh, anyway chirag by the time we take up the questions i think the question are you that you have planned no that is to be yes, shared i will just uh, post it in the group Uh, this chat just a minute i'll just clear. yeah yeah there is a there is a question here uh, your certification is based on your this uh, answer of this questions and uh, one more thing that is uh, your uh, feedback right so yes. if you so have I attempted these two things post the question quiz link and then i'll send the feed, uh, feedback link as well yeah you can share it in the chat itself please look at the chat and uh, attempt the questionnaires it's i mean uh, they are very simple and based on the session itself yes so that is been posted already i'll after some time i'll share the feedback link as well yeah okay. let them complete this and uh, right. let us give them some 5 7 minutes yeah. i think that should be sufficient right yes. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, certainly, uh, if any other questions, um, just say, just say, be like, it might be not, not, might not be technical as well. Uh, curiosity, है कोई question है कि sir ऐसा क्यों नहीं ऐसा क्यों? That is also yes. fine. Please feel free to raise your hand, right? If you just raise your hand, I'll unmute them. just Hello. try and come up with your queries Hello. don't feel shy i guess one hai one uh, question is there vft uh, related to vft uh, by parth patel vft can reduce the service factor on the motor it's used on also vft known to shorten the life but still it is more preferable why it is more recommended for most applications okay um see yahan pe i would like to highlight that if you are using vfd on conventional motor then this point is valid 
so when you are using the vft the motor rate motor is also uh, suitable for the vft because we know that vft will convert it will also inject the high frequency uh, signal that is high frequency voltage content will be there high frequency harmonics will be there so uska jo design hoga that should be comparable with the vft otherwise it will shorten the life of the motor that is true again bearing mein hysteresis losses hone ke chances hain so that should be properly insulated so vft rated motors jo alag se aati hai so to avoid this we can go for the vft rated motors is it clear parth uh parth you can put your answer in the chat box uh, do i need to uh, please hold on parth i think you can unmute yourself now yes sir i got your answer okay thank you varendra sir pandya sir thank you very much nice interaction with you as well uh, no no he is going to give you a proper thanks giving right so please okay. hold this for a while sure uh, no, i just read his message in yeah his yeah call, he, so. he he yes, put forward a message but then yes do we have any questions do we have any further questions uh, okay chirag i think you should uh, post your uh, feedback also okay i'll be uh, posting the feedback link and i'll close this uh, uh, link for submission of this uh, quiz in a while hello sir good to see you yes so it's pleasure hello, to have you all here and uh, i think we are uh, heading towards the end of the session so before getting the feedback and everything uh, i think it is a high time we should appreciate the effort of uh, mr chirag who has willingly accepted to serve as an expert for the very first session of this series right so thank you very much chirag right. for accepting our invitation and uh, put your whole hearted putting your whole hearted effort for this uh, i would request professor uh, viren pandya sir to convey the vote of thanks in a formal manner sure sir to pandya sir. it is indeed a matter of it is indeed a matter of pleasure for me and also for the electrical department and sanjila engineering college that chirag bhai has accepted our invitation and yes mr stood is best uh, the students have been benefited a lot the way in which he has discussed everything each and every minute details of the generation of uh, 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 say real power generation in the current scenario with the fossil fuel and the necessity of the energy conservation and use of non conventional sources mm, so everything was very fine students are really are really benefited a lot in my view and we also got to learn lot many things Uh, so it is really you can say appreciable that you have uh, that you have accepted our invitation sir and in future we also hope that your support will be continuously given to us so as and when we will require to see our students to have such benefits we will call you up. one more thing to share personally that chirag bhai has also uh, been the example of uh, you can say students i am telling you especially that you can take the inspiration from the life of chirag bhai he has completed his mtech from the nirmal university and i i heartily say this that he is the real example of the startup so after completion of master degree in the electrical engineering he has he has uh, laid his foundation in the business with a huge horizon so so definitely you you please contact him and you take the inspiration that how to do start up as an electrical engineer see otherwise it is very tough so it, so we are not say civil engineers so it is very tough to start own business in the electrical field but chirag bhai is really an example of the same so for that i really appreciate and it was really a huge you can say benefit to the students to have you so thank you sir again uh, on behalf of electrical department on behalf of students all the faculty members and sandilal engineering college i really 
I really express my RTS thankfulness to you and thank you, sir. Over to you, Mill, sir. Thank you very much, uh, sir. Thank, thank you for all, sir. That was my for pleasure. Sharing for sharing your such a nice words. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and it is sorry. always like uh, it's always been pleasure to work with the uh, students and the colleagues. I cannot say that is professor. You are my colleagues. I know that, and uh, we are continuously being in touch. And it is uh, there are so many things occurring in the industry, and we are also eager to share with somebody, and that is getting benefited, right? Mostly. So, जो gap जो students के questions होते हैं ऐसे कि हम क्यों नहीं कर रहे हैं कि हम ऐसे क्यों कर रहे हैं government so that is there are some implications so we are more than happy to share with the students any time and uh, i will be available for uh, you any time and the students right so thank you very much sir for giving the opportunity uh, thank you mehul sir pandya sir and uh, certainly uh, principal sir uh, badguzar sir ko bhi bahut bahut uh, thank you for inviting me for this uh, webinar series yeah we do have few more faculties present in the webinar so i would request further professor sarveya to share his thoughts and views on this webinar professor jadeep sarveya you can now unmute your mic and it seems there is some technical issue over there uh fine so uh i again heartily uh give my thanks to uh, chirag for putting his whole hearted efforts uh, in conducting this webinar and uh, share his valuable thoughts which will be definitely be helping all the students yes uh, in the in their future endeavor in terms of energy efficiency and energy conservation right which happens to be definitely going to be a big topic in the coming days yes so please continue with the endeavor uh, that we have initiated over the over this uh, webinar uh, thank you chirag uh, thank you very much yeah yeah thanks a lot for joining this and uh, delivering this session